Okay, we are back. Two of the cheapest things on the planet happen to be the most useful things to put this whole gadget back together. And also for humbuckers, when you're trying to thread these wire harnesses through these guitars with no space but F-hole space, and in this case, these older ones are very narrow, you have to prepare well um, to feed these things so they go to the proper cutout holes. So it's just some medical tubing. I think everybody's seen this trick before. To get the pots in the proper spot, I'm just gonna use one. Some guys use two, and if it's a double pickup, they use all four. But you can see I'm just threading this uh, retrieval, retrieval uh, tube through the volume hole. Got that, whoops, got that ready to go. And I'm going to, again, carefully and gently, I don't know how my, my cat was just in here, he got the, he was playing with the strings. Uh, gently put this to the side. We again, don't want to have that bobbin flopping around. And then we are going to do two things. We're gonna string, remember I said it was the volume knob, we're gonna make sure that we thread the volume knob to the proper hole. So I'm gonna attach that medical tubing here to the top of the pot. Okay, perfect. The other thing we're gonna do, and by the way, normally if I were working on a nice guitar, I'd, a nice uh, finished guitar, I would be doing stuff like this. So let me do that, just to simulate. Don't wanna scratch the guitar up. The next uh, cheapest item on the planet is this little retrieval tool, Stumac. I'm going to obviously put that through the, where the jack was, the jack hole. And I'm going to pull that up through the pickup cutout. And this is a little bit tricky because the distance here is... Stu Mac didn't make this for the Charlie Christian or the 150, ES150. So you get a little bit uh, sketchy on the length of the stick and getting it in that hole properly but not a lot of space okay so we got that in there so I'm gonna pull the jack wire through first and then I'm gonna kind of simultaneously feed my wires in here get your volume pot in first again the reason you'll understand why you put this tape around the edge when you start doing this because you're invariably scratching the everything against that edge of the cutout. You don't want splinters. Okay, so slowly work this in. Be patient. Don't lose your patience with this stuff or you're gonna end up doing something you'll regret. Okay, so I'm pulling this through. Remember the back braces on this thing, they're like little stairs inside, so they kind of catch the pots. You have to reach your hand in and pull them up. Okay, we're almost there. Make sure you give yourself enough slack. Anybody ever watched this before on a video? I've, this is the first time I've done it on video. I'm just wondering if it's extremely fascinating or the most boring thing you guys have ever seen in your life. I'm hoping it's either the former or somewhere in between. Okay, so now you don't, you won't be able to pull these up through and attach them immediately. You just want to get it set up because there's not enough slack. If you put the pots up and screw them all in, you're not going to be able to get this bracket down in there because this lines are, the wire is going to be too tight. So just get it kind of set up to pull through. So that one's just below, ready to pull through. My jack is also back here, ready to go and pull through when I need to. And so I'm going to skip that part for now and come back to you uh, once we're ready to put this guy back in. Okay, so just give me one second. <laughs> 